I mean, you've been on the record and you say that you grew up a Jets fan. You are a Jets fan with your father and the organization, and you're a little boy here, and you were a Jet. I was a Jet. If you, if you take yourself, if you were a Jets fan right now, do you think the GM and the coach and the organization is doing what they need to do? Looking at taking the GM hat off and taking just as a Jets fan. Sure, at uh, surface level, again, when you're one and seven, I don't mm -hmm. think anyone is satisfied with anything. Yeah. Certainly we aren't. Uh, so as a fan, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be very bothered by that. And, you know, you come into the season, we, we, we finish the season with a rookie quarterback and a lot of changes, a, a lot of changes on our roster and our coaching staff last year at eight and eight. And then you enter this season, and, and uh, you know you, you feel like you have uh, you know a good thing going, and, and we start off this way. So uh, that's cause for a lot of concern if I'm a Jets fan outside looking in. But then you do have to believe in the people that are in charge, and uh, you know we're, we're going to earn that uh, over time. Do you think you have a franchise quarterback on your roster right now? Don't know that. Don't know that. You know it's uh, it's still to be determined. How do you feel and then you don't want to you don't want to try to answer that question mm -hmm. too prematurely. Um, you know, when especially when you're dealing with a younger quarterback in Geno, you know, Mike of course is is a veteran. Uh, but when you're dealing with a younger quarterback at any position, but specifically a quarterback, there are going to be some rough times. Uh, very rarely do you get the plug and play mm -hmm. player in this league, much less at the most difficult position. So. Uh, it's a matter of seeing them through those rough times and hoping those rough times become fewer and farther between. Uh, and the type of mistakes they make, they don't repeat those mistakes. Uh, so uh, that's what we're going through now. And um, we will continue. We'll continue with the development curve. We'll continue searching. Uh, you know, we will uh, we'll continue to try to enhance that position in any way we can. Talk about where you see Rex Ryan right now. Rex is the same Rex as uh, I've grown to know over the last year and a half. That uh, he's a competitor uh, through and through. Uh, there's never say die in Rex Ryan. That's why our players, I think they uh, they kind of take that from their coach. Uh, they play hard for him. Uh, he's um, he is focused purely on how to to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the one thing you learn in this league is. Um, you cannot. Uh, you can. You can smart for so long, but then you have to move on. Uh, you can't let it affect your future performance. And that's one thing about Rex. Uh, as hard as yesterday was, as hard as the last seven weeks have been, I know we're going to get the best out of Rex Ryan and his staff this week against Kansas City. Are you still confident he's the right choice to be the coach of the New York Jets? I. I, I support Rex. I, I'm confident in our staff. I'm confident in our players. What is it going to take to turn this team around? What can you, you do as a general manager yeah, at this you, point? You, you, you do you do know? It, well, you do it inch by inch. Mm -hmm. You really do. And, and uh, you really examine any possible way that, uh, that, that we can help, that I can help. You know, whether it be a change in schedule, whether it be, you know, the obvious would be do, do you bring players in? We work mm -hmm. players out constantly, some to, to really gain a, uh, a library, so to speak, on the players who are, were at the ready. Some will bring on board, uh, but uh, you examine anything that you do. We're, I'm getting ready to go into a self scout meeting, so we'll, we'll inspect what we did last uh, yesterday. Uh, take, take the good, uh, take the bad, learn from the bad. Uh, take the good, enhance the good, and, and, and march forward. What do you want to say to Jets fans? Well, uh, I would want to say that uh, again, we we feel the raw emotion coming out of yesterday, coming out of the last seven weeks. We feel responsible for that, uh, and we aim to do something about that. We want to deliver uh, wins like you deserve.